I'm back. Samantha's back. You're back. So we're all back to get into some Midnight Oil for the first time. We've never done Midnight Oil on the channel before. No, I've never heard of that. And this makes me think of burning the Midnight Oil. But the beds are burning today. <laughs> That's the track that we're doing. And uh, it's going to be the first time checking out Midnight Oil. And they're an Australian band. We've been trying to get into a little more of the Australian flavor. Yeah, it's been a really cool journey. Getting a little more down under. You know? Yep. You like when we go down under, Sam? <laughs> Can you not say that with that face? <laughs> That's why I said it that way. <laughs> He's just trying to make me feel uncomfortable. Of course, on camera, so everybody else can see it. It's not, not fun if I just see it making you uncomfortable. But she's not. She's really, she's really chill. Don't worry. Um, anyways, I'm excited to check them out because, I, I, like I said, I think they're pretty popular for mm -hmm. the Australian bands. Yeah, cool. Um, but you guys can let us know with some details down below. We learned so much from you guys in the comments, and that's what we always go through and get some insights and where to go next and what songs to check out. And it's really, really led us well on this journey of mm -hmm. our entire reaction channel yes. uh we wouldn't be where we are today without you guys so no, thank so you so much thank you so much part of that support is when you guys hit the like button and leave us a leave us a comment like i said um the like button helps though because it helps with your algorithm and it helps us in terms of the engagement which pushes it to more people so more people are going to see this video if yes. you do engage with it anyways enough about that let's get into midnight oil beds are burning you ready i'm ready let's roll This is a def this is definitely an interesting flavor. This is very different. I almost like it's hard for me to tell if it's just the uniqueness in the vocal or if it's an accent. Like is that the accent it's coming both. through? It's both to me. Because it sounds very different. Like, I'm like, what is he it, saying? There's definitely the accent. I, I was thinking to myself as we were listening to it that out of the Australian music that we've done thus far, I would say the accent is most prominent yes. from them. Yeah. And uh, Most other people, I don't really notice it that much. No, not so far. Um, and I would also say that his vocal, I wasn't honestly in love with it when I first 
was introduced to it in the 30 seconds of the opener. Mm -hmm. But um, I think it sits in well for this song. Uh, for I don't know what the rest of the catalog will look like, but it's kind of awkward, but it's fitting in the way they put the melody and stuff together. Well, I feel like all of it sounds kind of awkward, so it like just kind of blends yeah. together. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a unique sound. That's what I'm saying. It's it's not something I've really heard before, uh, which is probably why they're unique and have stand stood out over time. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, it, the bass riff is obviously driving this one. Yes really really strongly so um you know and the drums too i feel like and they're pretty prominent yeah it's definitely got a lot of rhythm to it yeah. and then they offset that you know the you know lower end frequency with this high harm harmonizing on the chorus which i think stands out quite a bit it's um not like already complex but it's like i said something that's going to stick out in your mind and i feel like because of the messaging in the song mm -hmm. you know they seem to be talking about um, I, I think we've read that they do songs related to environmentalism and indigenous related issues. Yeah, and like some political stuff. And stuff yeah, like so I, I think we've seen pictures of the indigenous people, mm -hmm. right? And, and they're obviously a big part of Australia. I think, you know, we grew up in Canada. The indigenous people, you know, is, are a big part of the heritage there. And then I think the same is applicable for Australia, right? So, um, I think you know that's why we're seeing some of the visuals on the screen and that's maybe what the lyrics are representing a little bit yeah i also picked up some of the lyrics around being like saying like rent is due time to pay your share like it almost sounds like too like you know this idea of that this is happening to these people but it's time for other people to kind of pay their dues and help and like you know change some of these issues yeah yeah i i mean I, that could be taken a few different ways right because you know, there's some people argue for reparations, for example, right? For people that have been wronged from past generations and that the people of today need to repair some of those issues. I don't necessarily agree with that because I think, you know, you're punishing people that had nothing to do with the situation. Yeah, at the time. But at the same time, I don't think that people that are put into positions where they can't, you know, have an equal opportunity is not fair, right? So um, I think like, you know, in Canada, something that drove me nuts, for example, is when, you know, people People don't have access to clean drinking water like to me that's ridiculous like yeah. if i'm paying taxes for our, you know yes. to the government at least they could be putting it in the right situation yeah, so sure. in light of what you were saying is like you know paying the rent i think that maybe it's you know people are taking advantage of the funding and not putting it in the right places and so i but i think people on the surface might look at it as black and white and this is what it means but i think to the listener you can interpret it the way you want to and know that like the general theme is that you know we need to be treat, treating the planet and people the right way and yeah. i totally agree with that obviously sure. anything you want to add or do you want to continue let's continue i want to see what else they have for the back half here all right
That was midnight oil. Beds are burning. Looks like they finished with a little bit of a trumpet. It was definitely some kind of yeah, brass, brass in there on yeah, the outro like section. That was, addition was cool. Yeah, that was cool. And um, like I said, this the chorus was definitely really stand out. Yeah, and even later that, on, it like I in the back half, I was like really paying attention to the lyrics and they even said like a fax a fact it belongs to them we're gonna give it back so like i guess like probably when land was taken from some mm-hmm. of the aboriginal tribes and it needs to go back to them stuff like that too yeah i mean you know uh, different areas of the world that's unfortunately happened in a lot of different cases yeah. right so um you know i think there's a lot of nuance to all of that you know, but it's unfortunate that in a lot of cases, indigenous people seem to be taken advantage of and, um, you know, not, like I said before, been given a fair sh- shake at the way things have turned out. So, um, you know, I totally get their messaging and uh, I'm all for, you know, making sure that we have conversations about this kind of stuff. So kudos to them for stepping out and, mm-hmm. you know, m- using their platform of music to bring a conversation to life. I always appreciate that from the creative standpoint. Yep. You know, when artists use their platforms and try to stoke conversations, it's a good thing, right? You know, you, you don't have to agree with the conversation in completeness yeah. because not everybody's 100% right all the time. No, but at least it's bringing the conversation to the table instead of just behind closed doors, people having their own opinion and not advancing anywhere. Yeah, and in, the, in particular with the indigenous people, right? It's like, I'm not an expert on it, but yeah. you know, if you don't have anybody speaking for you out in the mainstream, then how are you going to ever have your voice be heard, right? So if somebody doesn't take that initiative, then the conversation is never going to be had. And then there's never going to be a resolution that helps the people that need it. So, you know, I think it's, like I said, important when people have an opportunity to use their platform because so many people don't, they just want to make money and that's it. And, and, you know, they, you know, go off into the sunset and not this one that we were seeing here, a different kind of sunset. Right. Yeah, for sure. Also, I think indicative of the time period too, right. It seems like more people in that time period were speaking out about these kinds of things than now. Yeah. You, I, you just mean on the like mainstream music, it's not as popular for people to, you know, stand up and raise awareness about certain things as it might've been. And I think this came out in 1987. Okay. Yeah. So, um, you know, it was a little while ago now. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> Things have changed a little bit. I don't know how much they've changed in respect to this, though. Yeah. I'm not an expert in Australia. Yes, you no. guys are let probably an know. expert in Australia. Yeah. Ex- expert in Australia is what I meant to say. So let us know in those comments. Give us some details. Give us some ins- insights. We always like to learn and get educated on this channel. That's what we've done throughout this journey. So we want to do that right now. We don't know much about Australia. Got some family there, but I don't know a whole lot about the country. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm an ignorant Canadian, not an American. You guys are going to come in and say, you're an ignorant an American you don't know anything about <laughs> that's what always happens but we're not we're not Americans no. we're, just, we're just ignorant that's all <laughs> <laughs> anyways guys I hope you enjoyed our reaction to Midnight Oil Beds Are Burning Sam did you like the song I did I thought it was a really unique and cool experience I did I would like to check it a little bit more from them mm-hmm. as well so if you want to give us a recommendation we'd love to hear from you if you want to hit the subscribe button the notification bell we'll see you in our next video which will be tomorrow ciao for now <laughs> thanks for watching guys see you then